partner and cool partner and see I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video so in this video we're gonna have a little bit of fun um so we have talked about indoor gardening we have talked about um well we have done things for as transplanting and different things like that so I feel like I need to start like a little series now uh, we know like what type of soil and stuff to do and stuff like that so now we need to start um figuring out ways that we're going to grow our garden this season and let it be a cheap way a cheap way a fun way with things just around the house so this is going to be the first episode i'm not sure what i'm gonna title it but it's going to be you know maybe smart facts or something like that to use in the garden and then i'll title what it is so this video is going to be about eggshells eggshells so I have already did my research, got everything ready to go. At the end of this video, we're going to have a little bit of fun because we're going to make some powder. All right. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So ways to use eggshells in the garden. All right. I'm pretty sure it's more uh, ways, but I'm going to give you a couple ways. Okay. The first one. Did you know you can mulch with it? Yes. You can crumble eggshells and put them around your plants as mulch. Sometimes you can, um, well, some places have taken crumbled eggshells and take the little, y'all know, the little gravel rocks that you can see, the ones that, that you can put inside of plants. Now, I want to tell you to put that inside your vegetable plants, but your flower plants, you can take the little gravel rocks that's like more for decor, the real small ones, and mix it with eggshells and sprinkle them around the base of your plants. So, that's number one, mulch with it. Number two, feed the birds. Now we already know that feeding the birds is good for your garden. Because, why do I say that? Birds help keep out a lot of the insects you may not want, want in your garden. Believe it or not, birds do eat some of those insects. So, to keep the birds healthy and get them that calcium boost, you can mix some of the crushed eggshells with some burp food, burp seeds. And as they eat their seeds, they get the calcium. You can do that. I plan on this year getting a small little cheap burp feeder. And I'm probably going to be mixing some eggshells in the burp food for them. All right. And also, they just bring, they just, birds are just pretty. And, you know, they'll blend in with your garden. <laughs> Okay, number three, get rid of slugs. Slugs, snails, same thing. Just in case somebody don't know what you know slug is, we have those moments sometimes. So you can sprinkle some coarse eggshells around the area you having problems with the slugs. Slugs do not like the roughness. It, the eggshell scratches up their body, their bellies, and they'll stay away from them. So you can try to use the eggshells around the area that you see that you have slugs. All right. They'll avoid it. And you also want to reapply every time it rains. After it rains, put more down. All right. Heel splinters and cuts. When we out there in the dirt, we get nips sometimes. We get um, splinters and stuff like that. Now, I'm not telling you do not use your alcohol and your peroxide. That is what you want to do. You want to clean it off real good with your alcohol, your peroxide, anytime you have an open wound. But after that, you can take the membrane part of the eggshell, like the little slime-like part of the eggshell on the inside, and you can rub it on a cut and it will help it to heal. All right? So, the tear dirt, um, deer, the tear deers. I know some of you guys that stay more into like the country area has deers. It ain't even got to be the country area because here, I don't know, they say country. Oh, look, deers is everywhere here. And if you got this problem with deers, then try to um, sprinkle eggshells around your garden. It says that deers do not like the smell of eggs. So they'll stay away, hopefully. All right, compost tea. So you can take a gallon of water, 10 to 20 dry eggshells, and you can steep it overnight. Drain the liquid and pour it on your plants after it cools. 
pour on your plants as a liquid fertilizer. Yes, yes. All right, next one, tomatoes. Not only tomatoes, tomatoes, peppers, eggplants. Things that like, um, that that likes the acidity acidic soil you can um, crush eggshells and add them around the root to avoid um, blossom end rot if you don't know what blossom end rot it pretty much normally it happens if you if you water too much if it don't have enough drainage and stuff like that you'll get blossom end rot and yes it kills the plants it kills the roots um, so due to the imbalance of calcium you can crush the eggshells, put it around the root when planting to avoid the blossom and rot. Okay? The tear cats. If you got a cat or your neighbor got a cat or somebody got a cat or the cats just done made their way through your neighborhood or whatever, just chilling like they like they own everything and they in your garden. I don't have nothing against cats now. But you know what I'm saying? Like they in your garden, messing up your garden, doing everything, your garden, all that. Sprinkle some crushed eggshells near the area. It say cats hate stepping on them. All right. Um, improve, improve drainage and planters. Um, you can put a bunch of broken eggshells at the bottom of your planter instead of rocks. I've never used rocks in the bottom of my planters, but some people do. Um, instead of those rocks though, you can put crushed, uh, broken eggshells at the bottom. It, it, this improves air circulation, which makes your planter lighter. Um, and you'll you, you want to replace that every season, every season or two. You want to, you know, if you're doing it like that. Bring down pH. Simple as that. Eggshells bring down the pH balance in your soil. Seed starter, ha ha ha. That is part of the fun thing we're gonna do. All right, um, and I'll explain that part when we get into this video. And you can add it to your compost pile. All right, so yeah, y'all, it's like I'm in school because I'm getting this research done for y'all. This is my little tablet. I wasn't reading on nothing but what I took notes on, took notes and researched. <laughs> so. Now, what I'm about to do is just my own way of showing you what I was thinking. I haven't researched this or saw it anywhere. This is coming back from my canning and preserving and stuff like that I used to do some years back. And I used to do this um, years ago to help like preserve different things like that. So I was like, okay, so calcium. We know we use eggs. Me personally, I want to use it in a powder form because I feel like it will break down quicker. It's already broken down. So, eggs. You can go to the Dollar Tree or grocery store and you can find some cheap eggs. Dollar Tree has it. Let me put y'all more this way. So, Dollar Tree has, you know, eggs and all that stuff. So, what I have, and you don't have to have an expensive blender or nothing like that. You don't even have to have a blender at all. I'm just showing you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have my blender. This particular blender, you can use the big part, like with the handle, your actual blender thing. This blender actually does the small thing too. So that's what I'm using. I got my eggs. I got mixing, um, measuring things. You ain't got to use those. You can use a bowl or whatever. That's just what I'm using. I have one egg tray. I mean, not egg tray. This is an ice cube tray. This is not an egg tray. An ice cube tray. And I got this bowl to put my eggs in. So, and like I said, y'all, this is what I came up with because ain't nobody got time to be saving no eggs every time somebody decides to eat eggs. But may not, nobody want me to not want to eat no eggs every day. And you're going to be forever waiting for them eggshells. So, let's take my bowl. Hope y'all can see. Take my bowl. And I'm going to start taking these eggs out, all right? Yeah, taking these eggs out, all right? And I'm putting the shells in my little bowl over there, okay? So I only had three in there, and I bought these. 
I'm just going to take all the eggs out. I got to get some more ice trays, y'all. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to go move fast so I don't have to do much editing. I can get this out. I still got to edit it, but I can get this out to y'all. So I'm going to try to do um, what I'm planning on doing, making sure that each day y'all have information on different things you can do in the garden. I mean, y'all ain't nobody got no money to be spending on, on all that stuff that they bumping the price up with. So you need natural rate ways to fertilize all right have our own little area of all our different type of little fertilizers and stuff so we're gonna be doing a lot on this channel for us that stuff and you pick and choose what you want to use you know you pick and choose mix and match some of these ideas mix and match all right so now i'm gonna take my fart and i'm gonna beat all the eggs up <laughs> I got all my eggs beat. Anybody that has been in canning and preserving and stuff before, then you probably done came across this idea. But I have done it before and it was just fine. So I am going to pour my eggs into the tray, into the ice cube tray. Y'all still got it. Like, I'm a pro at this. I haven't done this in some years. Maybe about five, six years. I got a little bit more. So I need some more. Um, okay. I'll put this in something. Um, That's what I have left. So this, y'all, is going in the top of the freezer. So top of the freezer for this video i won't leave it well i'll go ahead and do it now but go over here and i'm gonna put it in the top of my refrigerator freezer and what's gonna happen this is gonna freeze let it freeze 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 like you would like if it was water and ice so like it was water and you was making ice you're gonna let this freeze and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what's gonna happen once it freezes you're gonna treat it just like ice cubes you're gonna take them out Put them in a freezer Ziploc baggie. Freezer Ziploc baggie. And throw them back in your freezer. And when you get ready for some eggs or you know you're going to be wanting some eggs that you ahead of time take them out, however many um, cubes you want, put them in a container and let them defrost and then you can cook them. I would say put them in a container and set them inside of the refrigerator and let them defrost. And then you can cook them. That way you don't waste them, but we can go ahead and get these eggshells real quick. So let me go over here and go ahead and put these in the freezer. Oh, if I can. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to pause y'all so I don't have to have the video running for a while. I got to wash my hands. All right, you guys. So I'm back. I don't wash my hands. Kind of got everything clear away. So. The first little fun thing we're going to do now, while I was gone, all I did was took my eggshells and I washed them. I washed them really good. And I even put just a little tiny bit of dishwashing liquid in it and washed them really good because it is eggs. All right. So one of the little things that we're going to do, and I'm going to only do two of these. And then I'm going to set them over there and I'll update y'all later when they do what they do so take two of the shells like this two shells and i'm just putting them in here if you got something you can hold them in that'll be fine i just have them in here in this bowl i went outside to my garage and got some of the cocoa core which is the seed starting seed, uh kit and i'm gonna fill it up with some seed starting mix. Yes, I am. All right. 
And then, and you can do this, you can do this with a lot of them. You know, just go straight across. This would be something I would do when I when I start drop more seeds when it get warmer for stuff to go. If I start them in the inside, I would do it like this. So I picked something that'll be easy to germinate. That way I can update y'all later on, maybe in maybe about four or five days or something like that. Something that ain't gonna take forever to germinate. So I just got some lettuce. So I'm gonna take a few little lettuce seeds. Put them in each one of my little egg pots. Put a few more. All right. Add a little bit more of the seed starting mix. Some or no? I'm just using this, y'all. I normally use faucet water, but it's close by and I forgot to get water. So you're just going to lightly, very lightly, just want to get it wet. And now we're going to watch these grow. Now, once they grow and you get ready to like put them in a pot or something, all you got to do is just kind of crumble the bottom of the shell and stick the whole thing in the pot because the shell is going to break down. All right. So that was one little fun little thing to do. All right. So now we got the rest of our shells. Now, let me tell you, for purposes, for video purposes, I'm not waiting till they fully dry. All right. For video purposes, I'm not waiting, but you need to wait. Today are fully dry, not wet at all, okay? But because I want to get this video out so I can look into more stuff, I'm just going to wipe them out much as I can, all right? Much as I can because I know I'm using this um, right away. Now, listen to me. If you're not using it right away, that is another reason to let it fully dry because you put it on a container and it's damp powder and may mold and stuff like that. So when I say when you do this, you set these things out and you let them fully dry. If you put them on a dehydrator or something or whatever, you let them fully dry. No moisture at all, y'all. I cannot stress that enough. No moisture at all. So I'm just doing this because I know that I'm going to be using this for the stuff I need to add some calcium to um, some of the plants over there. And I'll show y'all. But for video purposes, this is why I'm doing this like this. All right? So I don't want y'all to be doing this and these egg things are... Now, if, if, they, if, if you're going to take them and put them out there, you know, on your garden and stuff like that, that's fine. But if you're making what, I, what we about to make, you want it to be dry completely dry I mean no moisture at all I just wanted to stress that a lot because I don't want y'all to be growing mold and the mildew and all that from the dampness I don't want y'all to be doing that we ain't trying to make penicillin or nothing now so that's why I'm just doing this and mine may not do as much but you get the idea once they dry they'll be better but Okay, you guys, my phone has stopped recording, so let me show y'all. Because I don't know how much long, because I'm not using the camera. I got to I gotta remember to put my battery on charger so I don't have to deal with this phone and it stopping recording because it say the store is full. So, and I think the camera gives more quality anyway. So, I hope this is my end piece. Um, to this particular blender because I had to get another one because one had burnt out so I'm hoping um, alright so I got my blender It 
did good for them not to be completely dry. But like I say, make sure they completely dry. Now, if they was completely dry, like I told you for the video purposes, I'm doing like this because I wanted to show y'all. Then they'll be more powdery, all right? But, hey, this is fine because I'm using this. Okay, you guys, I think I got the corporate. That was kept making my phone stop. So, as you can see, I pulled them in here. And I still have more to do more to do but i want to go ahead and show you guys so these are powder eggshells and you can sprinkle this onto your soil i think it'll break down a lot better with them crumbled up but you can do it either way this is just some ideals like i say y'all that i'm showing y'all and i'm becoming at y'all with so many different ideals um for different things that you can do so it's easy to just go pull them. So I will be pouring them. And I'm about to show y'all that I'm going to pull them on the indoor garden. So let's go, y'all. Now, y'all, so this is for your indoor and your outdoor garden. You know, it's getting closer and closer to what we're going to be using this stuff outside. So, you know, I'm going to get me a little measuring. You know, you can get them little measuring things for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And one that I can leave in here. But like I say, when it's really dry, 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 dry. They clean and dry, dry, then you can make this stuff up and keep it in your mason jar in a dry area. So, I'm going to use all this because they wasn't fully dry, as I done said. So, I'm going to put some in my things. And this going to give them that calcium and stuff that they need. And it's fun and quick and easy, might I say. And it's a fertilizer, you know. Everybody going to get a little bit. And what, we paid 99 cents because most people probably got a blender. And if you don't have a blender, crush it up real fine. Take you something, put it in a bag and hit it together and crush it up real fine. Or either you can put it in there. But I just feel like with it broken down like this, it's easier for it to break down than a hole. Because last year, um, I think... Hubby had thrown some out in his little habanero plant thing. And them things took forever to break down. And sometimes these plants be needing a certain amount, like right then and there. All right? Um, I'm going to put a little bit in some of my seedlings. Shoot, what is going to hurt? Just a little bit. Oh, that was a little too much. Hold on. For the seedling now. Spread the love. Spread the love. <laughs> ah. Somebody gonna be like, she been drinking. No, I had. This is just me, y'all. The plants make me happy. And I can't wait to get out there and, and, and do what I do in the garden, y'all. Can't wait for the season to start. Go on here and get these. Look at this. See, these are the tomato plants. So I'm gonna go ahead. They are, they in the they they in the house, but still, come on, they gotta eat. And then I just water this in when I get through, and you know I, I want to use all of it because I told you it's not fully dry. Oh, it smells so good out here. You can smell. I'm trying to give the more uh the ones that's really mature a little. Eat, eat. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Maybe a couple of these a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Then I'm going to water it in, y'all. So I'll be making some more of these. Now y'all know how to make them. But, I, of course, I let them dry out really, really good to where they not wet at all. And then, you know, do them and put them in my thing. And I always have some eggshells to go for fertilizing uh, right on time. Like I say, when I'm be popping these videos out, you, you can take, you know, you make your own fertilizer. We know eggshells now. You know, you can grind it up. I got a couple more things that you'll be able to do. You can take them coffee grinds. And after you don't use it, let it dry out if you want. Let the coffee grind dry back out where it's just crunchy like, you know. And then you can kind of mix it with your eggshells. And now you got you, you know, 
double the concoction <laughs> of your fertilizer. So, yeah. Whoo, child. Y'all, so I hope this information, this video was informational for y'all. Um, It was so fun for me. I enjoy doing stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's a quick, easy, simple way. Like I said, you don't have to have a blender. Crumble it up as fine as you can. Crumble them things dry. Crumble them fine. You can't put them in a Ziploc bag. Beat them on some. Hey, put them in a Ziploc bag. Throw them on the floor and stomp on them. Crush them up either way. You don't have to have a blender. I just use the blender because I have a blender. And so, um, and if you don't, you can go to Walmart and get them little blend, the, the, the little bullet blender that looks like that. But get the little bullet blender. They got the little things and doing it about $19.99 or something like that if you want your blender to just to do this stuff. Um, because we're going to be doing a lot of pepper powder and different things, y'all. I got a lot in store to show y'all. Um, so if this guy's will, that's what we're going to be doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video so it can help out as many people as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, happy gardening, y'all.